What ended with tear gas and gunshots didn't start out that way. We had a big 10 foot by 15 foot copy of the, the Constitution uh, erected beside our trailer there. And uh, we were set up to, uh, for me to give a few speeches. James Epley is president of the silent majority and a para line he says is based on American values. He filed a permit for a group of up to 250 people to rally between 13th and 14th streets. He planned for a few speeches, but only a couple people showed up. Then the president spoke. I actually ended up not giving any speeches. Uh, we end up being sat there. We were playing country music, uh, some patriotic songs on our PA system. Despite repeated claims made by the president and his supporters, there's no evidence of widespread election fraud. Still, Epley decided to come to D.C. hoping to get his message across. That we do have a right uh, to peacefully protest. We have an ability to make sure that our representatives hear our concerns and then see if they'll act upon those concerns. But that's how a constitutional republic is supposed to function. That's how the representative government is supposed to function. And uh, we were there to, to stand up for the Constitution and the rule of law. Meanwhile, a crowd from other demonstrations moved to the Capitol. Epley says he stayed by his display and had no part in inciting or participating in violence. He says it's unfortunate that concerns about election integrity and the Constitution were cast aside. Well, everyone that was there for a legitimate purpose is now law is lost in the mess because now all people see are the images of people breaking into the, the Capitol, which we would never condone. Uh, violence is never acceptable means of anything that we would do. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate because now that is the dominant story.